We're still on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's head straight to our first conversation right here. The running mate for the People's Democrat Democratic Party uh, governorship elections. Now, the Lagos State governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Ola Jide Adederon, also known as Jandor, has announced the popular actress Funke Akindele as his running mate. This development is coming days after the collapse of Funke's uh, Funkes Akindele's marriage to JJC Skills. In a sponsored ad, uh, Jando announced the choice of a popular Omogetu star. According to him, Funkes from Ikorodu and Lagos is senatorial district and has the overwhelming popularity to garner votes. Akindele also confirmed the nomination, saying that she would work very hard for the party and for Lagos to have a breath of fresh air. We have Jide Johnson, a chief lecturer at Nigerian Institute of Journalism, joining the conversation this morning. It's good to have you join us, Jide Johnson. I am convinced. You mercy and coffee. Good morning to you. All and right. good morning to others all over the world. Okay. Uh, Jide, what do you make of uh, the, you know, the pairing of the People's Democratic Party? Now, we understand the fact that for every time uh, you have any political party that exists, the purpose of a political party is that they win election and they grab power. Now, do you think that this pairing would enable the People's Democratic Party in Lagos State, you know, win the election? Well, um, the party in its own estimation and based on its own calculation, has done what they think will help them win the election on Ghana Votes 1. They've gone for a balanced ticket in the sense that um, they have a gender inclusive um, ticket. It's not a male male ticket, it's a male female ticket too. They pick um, the candidates, both the candidate and the running mate, but are both young and then um, they, have, they have name recognition, they have face recognition. So there are people that are popular appeal. Whether popular appeal will translate to electoral victory, that's another matter. But if you check on the basis of name recognition, visibility, um, the running mate has it, and the candidate himself has it. So um, to a large extent, they must have done their, uh, their calculation, thinking that one, they were killed, you know, a lot of women our voters and then um, a lot of if you check the, the the move towards this election there's a lot of enthusiasm among first-time voters among the youth so if if they are able to appeal to the youth uh, population and the women population then they have a massive voting block uh, that's if they are able to appeal to this if these choices are, are, are acceptable to this to this voting block in the public in the population, then they are, they are almost home and dry when it comes to winning the the, the election. Mm. Uh, um, J. Johnson, Lagos State uh, PDP is is moving from uh, G. D. Um, Jimmy Agbaje to um, Jando. Um, we've known the antecedents, uh, the history, the track record, the style, and the campaigns of uh, Jimmy Agbaje over the past few years. Looking at where the party is today and the ticket it's presenting, Jando, popular man, moved over from APC to PDP and made fanfare, was installed by the hierarchy, the governors of the PDP, you know, in Nigeria, who came uh, when he celebrated his handover. It was a standstill in Lagos. The man has a massive following, uh, a grassroots movement called Lagos for Lagos. But looking at the pedigree of this ticket, um, is the PDP in, in Lagos, would you say, are they progressing in terms of their offering, the quality of their offering, you know, on the ticket from the time of Jimmy Agbaje and what Jimmy Agbaje offered on his own ticket? Uh, or is the PDP probably, uh, they losing it in Lagos State? Look, um, you want to hear my candid opinion, and that's what I please, that's please, what I hold the public, please, and that's please. what I see all the time. Thank you. PDP, PDP, PDP does not exist in Lagos. PDP does not exist in Lagos. 
Majority of the PDP members in Lagos are PDP during the day and APC during the night. You can quote me on that. They are PDP in the morning. That's why PDP is almost dead in Lagos. They are they are PDP in the they are PDP in the morning during the daytime and in the night time they become a PC member. I can begin to mention their names. So um, for you to say okay, you move even to me about whom you spoke about uh, with respect to uh, having a massive followership. It's neither it's neither PDP nor APC. It always appears when the election. This is the first time that it will not appear during the electoral cycle because you always appear when the election is coming and will disappear after after the election using the media platforms to propagate and promote himself playing the politics of rhetorics and not politics of poli policies so the, even the candidate of pdp that you are talking about presently the candidate both gubernatorial candidate and um, um running mate were apologists of apc before they were apologists and dog lagos for lagos was part and parcel of of apc for a very very long time until after the apc uh, party party conven the convention to elect party party officials and then they lost up he moved over to pdp even Gakidele and members and majority of nigerian nollywood members are, are unapologetic members of apc they are part and parcel of apc in 19 in 19, 2015 2019 and you will see them parade themselves with the exception of some slight division between them now with some coming for peter obi and some um endorsing endorsing the apc apc a presidential candidate so uh, if anybody has any opinion pdp is basically just the same himself because what you have in terms of system what you have in terms of structure what you have in terms of representation is an extension of of of, of, of the apc are you are you are you, are you are you are you saying that um what we're saying is just uh um, no pun intended, because to, uh, Funke is now on the ticket. It's just a uh, script from Nollywood. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that because Funke, Funke on her own has her own credibility, has her own personality, has but, her own yeah, but, appeal. She's a Nigerian. But, 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 but with, with Jando moving said, from, from APC, that, you said Jando moved from APC, uh, uh, Kindle has been an apology to the party. Are they, are they um, uh, uh, agent provocateurs of sort? You know, um, are they, are they, are they I, 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 can't, I can't say, I can't say that for a fact, but I'm telling you about their history. And I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, as someone that observes the political reality, the political environment of Nigeria, what le level of seriousness, what level of opposition, what level of alternative view, point of view, world view, has PDP provided? So Lagos politics, the what is happening? What statement have they released? What programs have they come out? So there is there has been a systematic, and I'm telling you for a fact, for what I know, for someone that observes the political reality of Lagos, for someone that is from Lagos and is interested in what happened in Lagos, there is no PDP in Lagos. There is a systematic <laughs> infiltration of that party, and there is a systematic destruction of that party every electoral cycle with people living either APC, AC, ACN coming to PDP to weaken the party internally. That's the truth. All right. So what the arrangement which you see is just the continuation of what has what has persisted in Lagos opposition party with the ruling party infiltrating and weakening the party from within. Uh, some people have it actually... has nothing to do with Funke Akidele. She has her own appeal. She has her own followership. She has her own packages too. Some people have also mentioned that... Just like everybody. Uh, Funke Akindele is yeah, uh, a fan of the APC. I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, you want to talk about uh, supporting the Jagaban. And so it's possible that at the end of the day, she'll cast a vote. That's on a lighter note. I mean, I don't understand how you are of the AP PDP and then you eventually cast your vote, you know, for the APC uh, as it is. That's what some people are saying. But um, let's also look at the spread. We understand what's playing out. Although some people think that this should not be a yardstick, especially at a time like this. But we cannot ignore that fact. It's our current reality. And some people say the earlier we embrace it, the better for us as a people. The issue of um, you know, geographical location, 
And so you want to talk about tribe, uh, you know, some people say tribe or region. But in this case now, you look at it. Um, Jandor is of the Lagos West. And you have um, Funke, who is also of the Lagos East. Uh, do you think that this spread or this um, classification, with the fact that we're look, also looking at a Muslim, Muslim ticket, would also be a plus for the PDP? I, we understand the point that you have raised as regards the presence of the PDP in Lagos State prior to this time. So, but well, do you think that, do you also think well, that yeah, in, in this, you know, in checking the boxes, uh, you look at, uh, you know, religion, which is big, we can't ignore that. As much as we say that, oh, it's not a thing, we should look beyond that. It's a, it's a ticket that you have, a Muslim Christian ticket. And on the other hand, you also have, um, you know, the Lagos West and the Lagos East. This factors together. Do you think well, that that's um, going to be, you know, a well, plus? despite the fact that you are saying Lagos. that uh, the PDP do not have a presence? Lagos, Lagos, Lagos uh, is a cosmopolitan state. You recall that um, in 1979-83, we had a Muslim-Muslim ticket. Nobody, um, nobody, nobody really cared about that. At the point in time, even in Lagos, the governor was a Muslim. Then the speaker, the speaker of Lagos, uh, for for more than 16 for more, for almost for almost 20 years i've been muslim nobody pays attention to that nobody cares about that because it's a cosmopolitan state and the issue which you are trying to talk about in terms of balance lagos east lagos lagos west. the way there is a clamor for people in the Badagri division when i talk about that lagos is into five divisions even if you look at it from senatorial district there are also divisions there's a clamor from people in Badagri division that they need to have the governor from Badagri division. That's where Jandor is from, from the Ojo, Ojo axis of, 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 of Lagos. However, there are internal politics that go about it. If you go by that politics, well, it will work for them. But there are internal politics that goes about it. Even for him to get the traditional rulers from that area to attend this program. Some of them have been threatened to be to be dethroned if they attend this. this, this well, that's how deep this politics is, and that's how deep it has. It has, it has, it has, it has become. Uh, li, um, um, she's from, she's from Mikorodu, where that balances the ticket. But in Lagos, a cosmopolitan, people don't really, on the most serious note, people don't really pay attention to, to all of those, to all of those factors in terms of religion. But in terms of your capability and your capacity, people pay attention. Attention so, to that. And so, in any so, case, so, but don't you think that she has a capacity, Jide Johnson? You, you have mentioned something now, and I think I, we, we should, you know, look that. You, you look at that. You've talked about capacity now, and if you look at capacity, she's she's uh, successful. I, I really don't know why the, uh, <laughs> you know, yes, of course. the emphasis she's, was really on her, she but she's she's, she's been some successful some as a business person. She's also a legal practitioner as well. She's a lawyer. Um, don't, don't you think that this, all of this, you know, boosts uh, the positivity when you talk I about the I said she has, she has all the qualities. She, she, has, she, has, she has the quality, the positive qualities. She's successful. She's built a career. Uh, we, 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 knew, we knew her antecedents. We knew where she was. She was coming from to where she is now. So she has, she has every right. But, you know, people have trivialized the nomination of I've seen comments on various platforms where people have trivialized the, the comments. Because you are involved in the popular culture, because you are in the entertainment industry, you also make you a jester. In our justice, if someone could make money from, from gesturing, then that person has got a good deal of sense. Because it is not easy for, for a person to make another person to laugh. Considering the considering the, the economic hardship, the Nigerian that Nigerians have gone through over the years. So if she's successful in doing that, then she's successful in easing the pain of the people. So if she's given the opportunity, she has the capacity to ease your pain through proper policies. So that's the perspective with which you can look you can look at that because I've seen a lot of comments. A lot of people have derided, 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 derided her peak one. Is she because she's a woman? Or is she because she's into popular culture? People should not forget that Donald Trump was into popular culture and real estate. Ronald Reagan became the president of the United States of America, being an actor, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger became the governor of, of California, being an actor. So if someone is an actress, does that mean that that person does not have anything upstairs? That's what I don't like. I've seen but, but, but the argument, D.J. Johnson... I will. I understand that you have raised. Yeah, with you. But but I don't know if you've also looked at it. This is which is very popular. I mean, that's a popular comment. People have talked about the fact that her marriage has crashed or a failed marriage, and and the comment is that you, you can't even fix your home. What business you have, you know, trying to sort out uh, Lagos as a uh, state? Go fix your home and forget about all of this. What? Uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you: know, you, Is there you know, you know does the that. constitution? in itself stipulates, you know, does it talk about all of these issues, whether or not you have your home together, the issue of morality at this point in time, and, you know, capacity uh, to function? It's, it's an age-long age discrimination against women. It's an age-long. Uh, when the woman was caught in adultery, she was brought to the Jesus. She was brought to Jesus, and the man brought her, and the man that she was caught with was let go. When issue of uh, mark issues that has to do with this, it is the women that is always pointed out. Are all the men running for offices? Are they? Do they not have failed marriages? Who does not have issues in his own marriage? We all have issues in our life. So why should our own be? How many of them that is running for office now is presently married to his first wife? How many? We should stop this discrimination against 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 women. I don't I don't buy into it when issues right. has to do with failed marriages or failed what have you. She that's an issue, no doubt about that. But you shouldn't use that as campaign as campaign material. Please, everyone has issue, and that's. They are, they, are, they, are, they are personal problem. They can solve the problem, but don't make that issue for women. Everybody is not is the, the president, the present president, the present president of Nigeria had issue in his first marriage. The former president of Russia Kumbasa just had many issues with women. Did that stop him from becoming the president? All right. Incre oh, see, interesting. Yeah. Th thank you. You're so passionate <laughs> about, about the Jilly Johnson. We can feel it from here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Looking at... Uh, the, the, no, it's not fair to women. No. All right. It's not fair right. to women. Th it's thank you, Jilly Johnson. Johnson. Looking at the, the, the trend, I mean, um, uh, Jando is, is um, boring or falling from where a young man uh, by the name Tonte Ibrahe who is the um, governorship candidate of the African Democratic Congress. I hope we've not forgotten them. They're still there. Um, uh, he, where he left off. Now, Tonte Bray picked another Nollywood actress, Tonto DK, to be his running mate. And he garnered a lot of attention, uh, media buzz, you know, uh, and support and all that. I mean, Tonto DK uh, has been appearing on television programs, talking politics, and maybe uh, Jando had his eye on that. Uh, Tonte Ibrahe is a young man. Jando is a young man. Uh, with this, this, this trend, you know, it goes against the grain of um, the, the selection of running mates or candidates, let's call it that, candidates in politics, not just in Nigeria, but around the world. I mean, uh, well, we can talk about what happened in the United States with Ronald Reagan uh, becoming president. We can talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger, a uh, Hollywood actor, becoming governor of, um, of California, um, even Clint Eastwood dabbled into politics and tried to be governor. Um, you know, Donald Trump was uh, a reality show host. Uh, but but with, with Nigeria, we've not really seen the movie industry and the, the actors and actresses, musicians, entertainers um, really you know, translate, transit properly to become proper politicians who engage on national issues, you know, over and over and over again. Um, are, are the current generation are they are they losing it? Now there's more Now no, there's more no, no, I'm I'm talking about now largely. No, Desmond is one person. <laughs> He's one person. That's, that's why I'm, I'm throwing the ball to your court now. Mm -hmm. um, are the younger generation are they getting it or are they losing it? You see, what we happen in 2023 will just be the foundation for the takeover of the Nigeria political landscape by the youths, by the Nigerian people from the established political order. That's what will happen. If 
You see, there is there is a real witness, and there is a consciousness of the fact that power belongs to the people, and when people become conscious, when people become conscious of their rights, it threatens the establishment. You could see that the establishment are running elter skelter. As far as I'm concerned, this is a welcome development. A welcome development in the sense that politics is no longer the exclusive right of those that feed the, the few, the few, the feudalistic few. But it is now the is it now in the consciousness and the interest of majority of Nigeria. So it's it is getting better. Look, what has Funke Akidele's um nomination done for gender? It has given it. We are having a conversation concerning it. You know how many people are watching it? You know how many social media platforms they've discussed that? You know how many TV stations? Even the opposition are, talk are talking about it. That is the visibility. That is the conversation. That is getting the top of the mind awareness. If you ask anybody on the street, uh, who is the running mate of, uh, if you do a name recognition, I'm saying this for a fact, between the APC, the APC um, running mate and the PDP running mate, even though the APC running mate is a sitting deputy governor, I will tell you for a fact, if you do the survey, you go on the street or you do the voice of, I'm telling people we have a more name recognition of who can than J.D. Johnson, we have to go now. Uh, thank no, you so much. Where are you? That's literally J.D. Johnson, thank you. Yeah. I wish we can have this no, no, no. conversation extended, but we're being prompted to go for the sake of time. And we have our other guests who's waiting. Thank you so much, uh, J.D. Johnson, for being part of the show. Thank you. Yes. Interesting one, Mercy. <laughs> um, name recognition, you know, um, some will say that name recognition is not enough. You have to also show, show, also show capacity uh, to deliver. Like Atiko Obraka said, when you're VP, you're president in waiting. When, when you're deputy governor, you're government it's waiting. It's not in this real sense. We have seen you know. that actually so, happening so, so right So if, if Jando exits the scene for one week, two weeks, does an actress like uh, Funke or um, an actor like Funke or maybe we have a uh, 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 turn to the DK, do they have the capacity to run their respective states? Why not? Because time will tell. <laughs> you, you, you know, time would definitely tell because mm -hmm. I, I think that these things don't just happen. You probably, but we need to move away because, because is, 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 is it about name recognition, popularity to ride on that popularity to no, win but it's votes, not that because or should for, it be for about other time? capacity? Capacity. What is your track Coffee, record? Coffee, you know Can that. You Coffee, you know state? that. Before you get into a space as a, a person, it won't just be that. Before the lawmakers right. even get into the space, they, I'm sure that there's okay, some sort so, of training. So, so will you vote for? They, they understand. Funke says I want to be governor of Lagos State, or she has not said. I mean that. that she has not you said. You understand though. that someone uh, says, "Hey, I want you to make Funke governor of Lagos State." Maybe Tinubu says he should be. He should be governor of Lagos State APC. Would you vote for her? That's actually at this position right now where you're putting me on. I mean, she doesn't it's, say it's, she wants to be governor. My point here Tinubu is. Tinubu calls and say, Come, I want to be governor. My point here is. So she, she, has sit down. Right. she has a no, right. No, no, she doesn't say she wants to be governor. Tinubu picks her and I, says. And for the fact that I she's there, we do not know if she's been picked by a person or not. No, and she, that's was it. Picked, she was picked by Jando. No, 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 no. So the, the truth is, eh, it's, it has nothing to do with that. No, I'm saying, will See, you vote capacity, for Kim Bunke Capacity Akindele is not inherited. As for governor, all of these persons who have become... I ask you a simple question. Um, will you vote for Kofi, her as governor of Lagos State? For those who have become governors and president, they yeah. did not inherit it. We need to understand I'm, that. I'm just asking This is you. not inherited. They it's were not, not bettered with Funke, this capacity. It's not about Funke. And that's no. not it. I'm just, but we need to take a break now. <laughs> that's because we need to head to a second conversation. Thank you so much for being part of The Breakfast. We'll be right back. Stay with us.